everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back on my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impression wear test on the new Giorgio Armani foundation. This one is the power fabric one. It's supposed to be long wear, high cover foundation. And as you can see, this color is definitely dark for me. This is number five. In the luminous silk foundation, I'm wearing number four, but this one works more like winter, fall, spring, and this one I wanted to get it for summer and the darker shade. But I have done a video where I was wearing this one actually half half against the Maestro foundation, so if you want to see that, I will link that down below. But today, I wanted to try this one. It is supposed to have more coverage, which I'm really excited to try because I have been breaking out. I will zoom you in a second, you'll be able to tell. So higher coverage, long wearing, I have oilier skin now too, so I wanted to see if this was going to work out for me. I hope so because it's not cheap, so let's try this on. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like. It actually looks very, very similar to the uh, Luminous Silk foundation. I got the shade number five because I want to wear this during the summer, but I think it looks darker, as you can see in the bottle, than whenever you actually swatch it. I don't know yet if it's gonna oxidize or anything, but yeah, that's actually not that dark. So if you see the bottle and you're like, whoa, this is way too dark, it's not that bad and like I said, I want to be able to wear this during the summer and I have the shade number four in the Luminous Silk Foundation which I use like maybe not middle of winter but more like spring, fall-ish. So as you can see, this one is a little bit more neutral which I'm more neutral and I wanted to see if that one would end up working better for me. I think the undertone is gonna be better and the shade doesn't look that bad considering that I want it for the summer. Right now I'm probably gonna need to blend it a little bit down my neck but we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna let them dry just to see if they're gonna oxidize or anything. I'm gonna apply the first half with a beauty blender because that's what I usually use and the other half I'll use a brush just to see if there's a difference. Sometimes there is one, sometimes there's absolutely no difference. So let's test this out. So obviously I'm not wearing anything right now on my face. We're gonna test the coverage because I'm still breaking out. Actually, they're like pretty much gone right now, but let's see the coverage because it's supposed to be high coverage and I've been really loving higher coverage foundation lately. The color is actually really not that dark. <laughs> I'm actually surprised because it's applying like very, very thin, but at the same time, can you see the coverage? I did not expect this. Huh, because when I think about like the luminous silk, it's like, yeah, there's a bit of coverage, but it's very, very natural. And then when I saw that the texture was actually similar, I, it's good, it's good. I'm really just surprised though. I am really impressed. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom you in. It looks amazing on my face. The only thing is I have a little bit of dryness right here because of the leftover uh, breakout that I have. So I would recommend if you have any dry patches to exfoliate. Obviously in general, anything that is like long wearing tends to be a bit more drying, might be emphasizing a little bit more any dry patches. You can see it, but it's not any worse than it's been for the whole week, whatever I was using other things. I'm so happy with the way it looks on my cheeks. Like, can you see this? I applied it quickly, but like, it looks flawless and it covered pretty much everything with just one thin layer. I'm, okay. If I were to apply more, I'm sure it would cover like 100% everything. I'm just pleasantly surprised. Now let's try with a brush on the other side, even though I'm not usually big on brushes, but I want to show you if there's a difference. My cheeks. Brushes in general tend to uh, give you more coverage than a beauty blender, but a beauty blender, beauty blender <laughs> tends to give you like the most natural finish ever, which is what I'm usually looking for. But I feel like the brush tend to like leave more product on your face. So if you really want full coverage, brushes is usually the way to go. I don't see like a huge difference in general between the two, but you might be able to see a difference on camera. I'm like really pleasantly surprised. I really didn't expect it to be full coverage because I don't know why, I really associated Giorgio Armani with the Luminous Silk, which is natural finish, which is, you know, like medium coverage-ish. And this is so thin on my face, but it looks amazing. I'm like, loving this. And the color isn't that dark, actually. I don't know if it's gonna uh, oxidize a bit more, but I mean, 
this summer I'm gonna easily be able to wear this. I'm loving this. Like, I would say like pretty good coverage. Like, I would say like medium high coverage. You can barely see a little bit of color and that's just like one thin layer. It looks super natural. Like, you can still see my beauty marks or anything, but like all the redness, everything is just... Uh, I'm gonna go and apply the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna try to take a picture with flash, but so far I am loving this, so... Okay, so I did the rest of my face makeup and I wanted to show it to you. Everything went really well on top, so I have zero complaint with this. This is still drying, so I think I applied way too thick of a swatch, but they don't seem to have oxidized, so I'm gonna say that it doesn't oxidize. I don't feel like it did. So let's try the flash photography. I'm gonna use my phone because it works better whenever you actually use the flash. That is one heck of a picture. That angle though. <laughs> well, picture isn't good, but I mean, you can see that it doesn't seem to have a flashback, so we're good. <laughs> so I'm gonna go on with my day and I will update you at the end or if I feel the need to chop, to chop, to touch up anything. So yeah, see you later. I have been wearing this foundation for over nine hours and I wanted to update you. There was like literally no changes throughout the day, so I went about my day. I am now feeling, after like eight hours, I was starting to feel like I was a little bit oily. Clearly I am with bright light on my face. You can definitely see it, but again, there's no natural lighting outside. It's like seven o'clock at night. So, so clearly it is still on my face, is still covering everything that I want it to cover. It's definitely starting to be oily. You can see the shine. But I'm gonna try to uh, apply a little bit of powder on top just to see how it works out. So just to see, because I would usually powder a little bit after probably like five or six hours. And I wanna see if this is gonna be something that looks great after or not. So the powdering definitely uh, ended up working out. I have to say though, you can see that it did separate a little bit on my nose and it's a bit, like it's emphasized a little bit uh, dry patches. Like I was mentioning earlier, every time that you have uh, dry or dehydrated skin, uh, you can't necessarily wear a long wearing foundation without making some little adaptations, like making sure to exfoliate and to moisturize properly. Two things I didn't really do this morning, but I mean, it's really not much. And after, like I said, nine hours, I have trouble to have any foundation really staying well on me. So I'm gonna be giving it a thumbs up because it ended up being a lot better than I thought it would be. I really thought the color would only work for me during the middle of summer, but actually it turns out that this will be my shade in like a week or two whenever we have a little bit more sun. Don't think it's the most long wearing foundation that I own, but it's uh, beautiful nonetheless. I would still use this, especially for like evening out or something. I feel like it's definitely looking really great and it's very lightweight on my face. I don't feel it at all. So if you already did like the Luminous Silk Foundation, but you want something that has more coverage, I would definitely give this one a go. With that said, I think it's still a bit too early right now for me to decide if I think it's worth the amount of money that it is. I believe it was $70 Canadian, so it's really not a cheap foundation. But if you were looking at it, you were intrigued, I definitely say go ahead and try it. I think it is a really great one. But if you're on a budget and you want to splurge on one, I don't know if it would be necessarily the one I would recommend the most, depending on your needs, obviously. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for me uh, right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you have tried this foundation or if you were thinking about it. Don't forget to subscribe and not miss any future videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.